Dr. Mark Swinkowski discusses JBJS Open Access. We started Open Access a couple of years ago in response to the international movement towards open access. It is a phenomenon that has been, in our field, more important in other countries where f uh, funding agencies have mandated that uh, the results of the research that they fund be published in a way that the public and other researchers can get access to them. And so we have uh, endeavored to maintain our high editorial standards uh, and to create the, the next tier of manuscripts which perhaps are not strictly appropriate for the flagship JVJS but are really high quality methodologically uh, and where uh, departments and hospitals and universities have provided funding to publish in an open access environment. We have uh, been very, very selective in what we've uh, published to, to make sure we're not in any way, shape, or form uh, diluting the overall JBJS brand. Uh, and I believe that uh, open access is going to be increasingly important in countries outside of uh, North America. JBJS Open Access is continuously published online. Its peer-reviewed content can be viewed at jbjs.org.